Hello, so perhaps you're having a challenge downloading your specific data from Survey123. This video will show you how to access that and do a workaround. First, here in Survey123, in the lower left and the upper right, you can see a total number of records that the survey currently has. In this case, on this particular date and time, we have 2,069 records. This number is likely to be different than yours, but this gives you the total number. So after you have downloaded into ArcMap uh, the data and you open the attribute table for your layer, if your total doesn't match near the total that uh, was reported when you downloaded that data, then you're missing some records. And that's the problem. Some of you are missing uh, your data. So how can we get it? Well, the first thing I'd like you to do is on the right, in the middle of the uh, data view here, uh, at the top of the uh, attribute uh, table, click this little plus button uh, on the right. And let's go ahead and add in creation date and creator. Now both of those columns are added here to our view. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and sort by left clicking creation date and choose sort descending. That should give me the most recent um, uh, survey uh, entries. And in this case, it looks like we have uh, KNL4. Uh, and so we're going to use that individual for our example here. Now, uh, we also uh, could sort by other means. Uh, so um, perhaps you'll, you'll choose that uh, in, in the case of collecting data um, across multiple dates. Okay, so you have to remember that, that if you collected four features on one day, came back on another day, uh, then this sorting here might not capture all of your data, and you'll need to maybe sort by creator instead. Okay, so here uh, we're going to select each of the records for this individual, just to guarantee that we are going to get the export correct. In this case, I'm going to first left click with my mouse on the first row and then I'm holding my control key on my PC and clicking each one of the records using my scroll mouse here to scroll down okay now I have the 15 records that I'm looking for you can see they're visually on the screen all right now we're going to go to export here I'm going to export either to a shapefile or to a geodatabase. In this case, I'll just choose the shapefile and make it easy for myself. And now it's downloading to the zip. And now I will go ahead and pause the video, open up ArcMap so that we can look at that video or look at that particular layer. Okay, here I am in ArcMap, and uh, I am going to load then my survey data. Uh, here I'm clicking on Survey Point, Shapefile, pulling that in. Here are the data points, and now I'm going to right-click on the uh, layer and open the attribute table. And here I have 2,069 uh, total. Uh, in this case, uh, we are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to sort by the creation date and descending. And there we have our data.